Hi, this is Charlie giving you Friday's uh, market commentary, live trading and everything else. Um, I'm looking to get long on the Aussie dollar. It is, what, 20 to 8. Literally just switched everything on and I want to get long on the Aussie dollar, um, if I can. Um, so um, everything's uh, pointing up. So um, it's one of those occasions where you just um, you want to be in. So um, I'm going to just go in. Um, it's not really too much more to say about that than this, um, so I want to be long, so let's get some entries in. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong this morning, but um, let's see if we can um, get this um, going. So I've got one lot in, and so um, see if I can get two lots in. Shame I've only just switched on, because I would have got in, obviously, down here at the 5 minute 50. would have been much nicer. That was around about 7am, just after 7am, by the looks of things. Um, that would have been um, much nicer if I could have... Um, um, got in uh, down there than having to pay up a little bit because um, we'd already be sitting in a in a 15 pip gain and I've got to uh, pay up a little bit. We're just below the um, the daily pivot, um, but I'm hoping that we're going to break out of that. Obviously, I'm looking for a little bit more upside than that. So um, uh, we have got um, a little bit a bit of upside in this today. So um, let's get that fourth one in. Right. So I've got the four units in. Let's bring those up then. Um, so I've got four units, which is two lots. Um, so I think I'll just trade it with two lots. I might, I might go with three lots actually today and put um, some um, final positions in. But um, I might I'd just hold those back and see if I can get a slightly better entry of those. Um, now, for purposes of disclosure, I have to show um, obviously in the accounts. These are the Aussie dollar trades I've just put in. Uh, this is the swing that I'm in um, from last week. Remember last week's update, um, but I couldn't show you what I was in. And so this is the swing position that I'm in. I'm still not willing to show actually show the um, the position at this stage, but I am in a swing on the uh, euro dollar. And so I'll go through that in a, in a bit, but um, I can't show you everything because um, it shows you all my... Um, my um my entry prices and 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 all of that so um we'll hold back on that but yeah obviously it's running quite well um it's a swing trade so um it's you know it's that's a, like a week's target um of um which on this account and so um, but I'm looking to um to try and make obviously some more otherwise I would I'd have been out by now and it's an interesting thing really because if we go and have a look at the euro dollar on the daily charts and um I'm looking at the euro dollar and it's looking a little bit toppy at the moment the last couple of days but um but you have to hold out and it's one of those things when it comes to analysis you have to be willing to um hold with, for your analysis um for um what you believe in and so it's you know I I could still this could roll over and stop me out and I and I end up on a loss on this position um my my stops aren't at break even yet and so um that but that's the thing I've been saying to the guys in the room this week that's the thing when if you're trying to hold on a trade for a, a given target um and um you you have to hold for it there's no point in in just saying after the fact oh you should have come out well no because you do your analysis and you hold you're going to hold for where, what you're looking for so but anyway so far so good um but stops still aren't at break even yet anyway so um we're just going to have to see um how this is going to um pan out on this euro dollar anyway more importantly let's get back to the day trading so um yeah it was an interesting move here um on the Aussie um so the Aussie dollar over overnight and it's been oh that's be quite handy actually to to add in if we can get if it pulls back to the um oops to the bands um with the Aussie dollar it's it's had some nice divergent behavior off the lows here overall I'm bearish on the Aussie dollar because it's um <laughs> it's been um uh, it's coming down it's in a good downtrends um but it's had some nice divergences over the last several days um on the higher time frame charts and so um I've been looking for it to to come up a bit so um um hopefully um I can uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of slack here today um cuz I, I do think it is going to come come up so I'm going to give it a little bit of slack uh, I'm looking for um about 91.20 is going to be my first sort of level that I might take some some profit off of if it gets up there that is um but really then I'm looking up to it looks like around about 91.40 at the moment as to um where I'm going to be um my ultimate target is so um we'll see how that's going to go so um but it's just a case of seeing whether I can get this extra couple in so I'll just press pause for now and then we'll come back to this okay so we're just coming down to the sort of zone that I'm looking for to get those extra units in, so um, I'm going to get too fussy. Um, 
so okay this will be okay I'm looking for the white line but um, it may just want to come down to the eight so uh, for the sake of a, maybe a couple of pips um, I'll get those get those units in right so I'm all in on those those Aussies so I've got the let's open them up so here's the the six um, entries that are here on the Aussie dollar and so we're going to see how this is going to pan out it's probably going to take a, a while um, so um, I'll press pause for now um, momentum's up it's good and so um, overall looking for this to um, to resume to the upside so we'll see how we go press pause for now right the Aussie dollars just on my level I said it was gonna be about 20 so um, I'm gonna take um, back end off um, I'll say the back end off there um, just take the last two units off and um, ultimately I'm looking for that like I said about 40 level um, so um, but we just hit the, um, the that 20 zone that I was looking at as a first target so um, so far so good and um, we'll see how we go so you can see we're up 200 and whatever pounds so far so um, we'll see how it goes so um, I'll press pause again for now it's funny actually I've just had to run downstairs to do this because I was upstairs getting ready and um, it's always the way you go up or you go in and doing something and then the market flies doesn't it and hits your ta target so anyway I can get back to it now I'll be back in a okay so um, it was the right thing to do to get those first profits off there at that first target that's why we have the targets and now it's obviously pulling back and this is the interesting thing because now you look at let's, let's go through this as a training um, point so I've put my you can see where I've put my stops there um, on on the uh, stops are at 1994 um, but this is where you have to then look and say well, okay well what point would you would you bail out on a trade one that's already been up for you but it comes back do you are you willing for the trade to come back into negative territory and potentially stop you out when you've been up 280 quid and to let it all come back and potentially go negative or um, your second choice is to um, move your stops up into a position whereby either um, you can't lose so the, Mac, the worst it can do is go back to zero or you lock in you lock in again and um, so this is those, those are sort of the three options for you as a trader um, option one when you move it up or sorry when you've um, sorry not option one option one is when it's it's down um, option one is is the one where if you if you're seeing the bigger picture and you're seeing that the, there's a bigger move at play and that maybe this is just a little bit of of, of noise and if you can hold on then um, it may still come back up for you then that's great if you can do that but um, sometimes there isn't a bigger a much of a bigger picture or you've seen a bigger picture you've got a, an old overall target but it's just rolling over and it, and otherwise it could come down and you end up with a losing trade um, so um, that's a, that's a difficult one to to um, to go with with a lot of traders so I think really for a lot of traders it's options two or three which is either to move your stop up to a point where you lock in gains or you move up your stop up to a point where you lock you you can't lose and so that's what I'm, I'm going to do I don't know where exactly where my my zero point is so I'm gonna have my my stop it's at 94 at the moment but I'll keep my eye on this and wherever I see it getting close to um, zero if it was to come down lower then that's where I would um, I would come out so I can't lose on the trade um, but overall I am seeing <coughs> excuse me more potential for the Aussie dollar so <coughs> excuse me it's just a case of saying okay well um, I'm trying to give it some slack because um, it's had a nice little break up there I'm trying to give it enough slack for it to then come up again later but um, but at the same time <coughs> um, you don't want it to go into negative territory so not on a day trade so um, I'll leave it at that for now well, I'm actually seeing a second trade setting up here today on the uh, dollar yen. Short trade, not long trade. The negative, we've got negative momentum on the background on the hourly charts, and yet we're having a rally here on the five-minute um, charts into the th uh, thirty-minute twenty-one. And so um, twenty-one MA. So let's go to the thirty-minute chart. There you go. It's into the thirty-minute twenty-one. Um, so um, I'm actually seeing um, a short, a potential short trade. I'm just waiting for it to come into the bands a little bit and then test the upper bands. So I just want to see it do this properly, come into the bands properly. Um, close into the bands and um, and then I'll be looking at uh, a short trade on the on the dollar yen. I'm still going to give it plenty of slack, so I'll put a stop up at around about 50 just to give it that that room, that breathing space <clears throat> because they can um, um, it can fail on the first attempt and then it goes up a bit higher, does the same thing again and then rolls. So we'll go in initially with a smaller stake um, and then um, potentially add um, up here with a stop up here. Um, but um, what was I going to mention about that? Um, 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 um. Oh yeah, so as far as targets are concerned, there's a 
the the target's um uh, reasonable so um we'll see if that's if it can play out today i'm well aware it's um it's obviously black friday again in the us but we had thanksgiving yesterday so we'll see if um if it can if it can um set itself up and so um potentially two trades here today both are obviously momentum based and so it's just a case of following that momentum um trends good on on here though i'm well aware that we've actually on the hourly charts what we've just done on the dollar yen is hit the hourly 50 um so we've had a nice bounce off of it but um We've got the negative momentum. We've got divergences in the background on it. If if we just had negative momentum and that was it, I wouldn't trade this on the short side. But because we've got divergences in the background, then um, then I know that there's more likelihood of this. This is just a bounce against the hourly 50, and actually, what's going to happen is we're going to roll back over. So that's the plan anyway. We'll see if um, that's going to play itself out. So um, I'll just press pause and come back to this um, once we see how these candles are going to. Uh, coming back to the S&P. Uh, sorry, to the euro at the moment. Um, I just brought up the uh, percentage of traders who are short or, or long short. As you can see, look, we've got a whopping 75% of retail traders are short the euro dollar. Um, now, sometimes the retail traders will be right, um, but um, I'm obviously continuing to bank on them not being right. And um, so we'll see how that, that pans out over the coming days and weeks really. Um, I will show you uh, obviously my stops at some point, but um, it's just that, like I said last week, um, if I show my stops, then um, and then a lot of people go in and think they put the, the trades at the same same level. Then um, what could happen is um, um, that there's a huge amount of there was a lot of stops in the market all at the same level, and I don't want that happening. So, uh, so I'm not prepared, not willing to show my where my stops are on that trade. But um, but nevertheless, I will go through that trade with you. Um, so anyway, so we've come into this uh, into the bands here on the um, on the end. I'm just waiting for them to come up to the upper band and test the upper band, and um, then I'll initiate a trade. Um, and, um, and then look to add to it um, if it can if if it was to come against me. So I'm giving it that slack that it, it may it can um, have a little bit more upside. But um, let's see if we can get this one in uh, once it comes up to the upper band. So uh, I think if I put one lot in there, so that's uh, about 150 pounds of risk if it stops me out on one lot from there. Um, so it'll be about. 250 pounds if I add in as well. So yeah, okay. So I can do two lots in total, but one lot initially. Here we go. So let's get that one in. So I've got my two positions in there on the dollar yen. Um, so that's that for now. So um, I'm going to put my stop up at 55, and we'll see how this is going to pan out. If it rolls over, then obviously I'll then start to aggressively move the stop down and just see how it's going to go. So um, we'll see on that one. Right, I'll press pause for now. Okay, so there's not too much going on here as we can see and it could be very dull here this morning. So what I'm going to do is go down to the gym. What I do need to do, this is the uh, the yen obviously so it's not doing anything at the moment. Um, and, but I've got obviously the Aussie dollar trade as well. So let's have another look at that. Um, again, nothing too much going on here. I need to put the limit orders in. So let's bring off, bring up the um, account so you can see everything. So um, the limit orders on uh, the Aussie. So um, what I'm going to—I've just been looking at the charts. I'm going to put them in at 91.30. 91.30. I'll explain why in a second. Actually, not across—not on all of them, but um, I don't want to put all of them in at 91.30. So just put um, three of them in, and then we'll hold one just in case we can get to that 91.40. Um, and I'll show you why in a second. 91.30. Okay. So the reason I've done that and put that in there, um, so here's our, here's that, and, and this is the the bottom one here is obviously the dollar yen, which is hardly moving around. So what, what reason I've done that is because if we come out to an hourly chart, I was just having a look across, and I like to look across all of the the highs and lows. So um, actually, I've got um, telecharts data messed up earlier on in the week, so their data's still bad. But essentially, um, if I bring up the pen. Um, it's there's a there's a lot of um, touches all around this 30 level, 40 I would I would like to get to because obviously that's these highs here, but um, there's a lot of t tests here around about 30 so that's why I've put that level in at 30 so um, um, from a risk reward perspective it's um, absolutely fine, so um, we shall see what happens now um, and whether it's going to come down stop me out of hopefully um, I, I've just guesstimated my stop I've got to work out properly before I go down the gym. Um, where my, if my stops at the right level, I think it's over there or thereabouts. I put it in. The stops are in at what 94. I'll just double check those before I go, and then um, come back to this later.
Okay, just back from the gym. As we can see, the Aussie's had a bit of a flush here. He's got close to my stop. Remember, my stop's at 94. Fortunately, just before I left, I uh, decided to take one of the positions off because I was just doing my risk analysis. And, uh, and like I said, I wanted to make sure that if it came down and stopped me out, that I wasn't anywhere below zero. And if I, if I hadn't have taken this one off here, hopefully you can uh, see that. Ask Handy, you can't see my stop on my euro now. There you go, I can show you my euro trade. So um, there's my euro trade. Um, so long, two, just over two lots on that euro trade, back from 135.20. Um, but um, uh, um, yes, yeah, so I took this one off at 90, uh, what it was, 91.10, because I, I just did a quick calculation for, oh, if it comes down to 94, stops me up, then I'll, I'll be net down. So that's that. As you can see, this Aussie, do, uh, sorry, yen trade. Uh, if you can see it over here, um, the yen trade um, is up um, well, yeah, marginally, so um, it's just playing around really. Um, so, and hopefully these these markets don't just just fizzle out. Um, let's just go and have a look at the dollar yen. Um, um, it's come, as we can see, it's come down to 24. I've put a limit order in actually on it um, down um, down towards these lows. So um, if we can get down there, I'll take one off and then we'll just see from there. I'm not going to bother adding to this position now because it's either got to roll over or not. So we'll have to see. So um, and, and at some point, I, I guess I could move my stop down a bit actually now. Now we have come down a bit, I'll, I'll move my stop down to 45 or something like that to limit the loss, um, so to speak. So we'll just uh, see what happens. So I'll press pause and we'll see what happens as we go along. Okay, well, I have just been stopped on that Aussie dollar, so I'd calculated the risk correctly, so it stopped me out, and I've got a net 24 quid. Um, so obviously in the um, the dollar yen. Now I'm going to have a look at the a proper look at the Aussie dollar off screen, and just make sure this is not just a flush move, because if that is the case, then I may go back in. Um, my overall analysis um, still stands for. Uh, um, an update on the Aussie, so I'm going to keep my eye on this Aussie, and I may actually um, take a second trade on this, and um, I'm just not buying into um, a downside move on this. So, um, but you know, it's really good to show this sort of thing when you can show, look, being up on a trade to see it then come all the way back, because the traders really struggle with that, and and yet you can't have every trade be up and but not and and go to your target um so um and to see it come back to hit you at break even um that's fine because then when the when they do get to your target you make so much more it's not cost you um in in this way so um all right um i mean at the moment the dollar yen we don't know what's going to happen there um it's oh it's coming up again now so um but i've put my stop at 45 so i've given it a little bit of slack but um but I'm, again, I'm not overly believing in the in the dollar yen going higher. So it can come higher, but I'm going to be very suspicious of it. Um, and the momentum always makes me suspicious. Um, if I, I'll go where the momentum is, so you can have counter moves to that hourly momentum. But usually, when the, when the momentum set in, um, it usually means that um, it's not going to last, and so price can come up and then it will roll back over again. So we'll see about that one. Um, but I'm going to keep my eye on this Aussie, and um, we'll see if there's anything I can do there. Maybe if it comes back into the bands, it's just hit a daily, uh, sorry, um, uh, a pivot, um, and it's hit the 30 minute 21. So let's go to the 30 minute chart. So it's just come down to the 30 minute blue line here, the 21 MA. So um, I'm actually interested in um, giving it another crack um, because nothing's really changed. I'm just checking my momentum charts off screen and um, it looks like it's probably just a bit of noise, a bit of a pullback, but overall um, I still see the potential for this to go higher. So I'm going to give this another go. Well, I'll only put one a one lot trade in and um, we'll give it another go once it comes into the bands and retest those. So we'll, we'll have a lot, another go at that in a, uh, as and when it does that. Right, so it's coming to the bands. I'm just looking for an entry now to tr see if I can get in. I, I just, like I said, uh, with where the momentum is on this Aussie dollar and the whole price structure on the higher time frames up to the four hour charts, um, I am looking for a, a bounce. Um, so hopefully the bounce is going to come today um, and not linger into next week. If that's the case, then it'll probably just nick me out and then come up again on Monday. But either way, I'll catch this on Monday if that's the case. <laughs> so I'm quite happy to give it another go here. So um, we'll just see if we can get a an entry. And um, so we're just closing in on the end of this um, five minute period. And um, I'll just put, a, like I said, a one lot in. Um, we'll see if we can get something out of this. Um, we'll sort of press pause for now. Okay, so I'm just looking for a little dip now. And if we can get that dip, put a stop down, 
um, and the stop can be tight because um, it shouldn't really want to over, overrun so I can put the stop literally just below this low um, so by a pip or so so um, it's going to be fairly tight on the stop so that's quite nice so I'm literally I mean the market just seems fairly slow today because of the um, I guess it's still a bank holiday in the US so it could be slow this afternoon but it's only 20 to 12 at the moment so um, just see if I can get this I want to do it live with you um, but uh, I'm conscious that I'm on 20 minutes into this recording right now anyway so let's just see if I can get this entry um, if not I'll just take the entry um, off off air because um, I'm conscious it's getting long so um, are you gonna give it no it's taking its time I'll press pause Right, so just back. Uh, I did manage to get in down here, um, fortunately, on the Aussie dollar. So um, it came in. I had to just buy like mid mid range because it didn't come back down. I just had a feeling it was going to be one of those ones which didn't look back, and, and lucky that I did. So it's it's picking up. I only put that one lot in. Oh, that's the uh, from the original ticket. I only put that one lot in. So the two units here, uh, as you can see. Um, so actually, I'll bring it over a bit more. Um, so uh, yeah, it's going to be one of those days where the yen's not doing too much. It's sort of just playing around, and it's bank holiday day. And you get to a point, you think, oh, should I just take my my, my points and and say I was up 280 this morning, and um, you know we're we're going to get to that point where um, oh, should I just take the money and run? But I don't. I'm not really going to do that, obviously. Um, but certainly, um, once we get up to this zone, um, I'm going to take half off here because I might as well start locking in some. Um, we don't really want to as much as possible we want to try and give it a little bit of slack both of these trades but um, certainly I can get my stops up to um, break even now here actually anyway can't I um, so I can do that and and then just see what happens so let's just move those stops up um, uh, la, 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 from 86 see entry at 94 stop at 86 8 pip stop nice um, okay and uh, so uh, blah, 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 94 Oops, uh, 94. Okay. So we've got the stops up um, on that one. I can't do anything with this dollar yen yet, though. It's still just it's only just below where I got in. So it's at 31 at the moment, and my entry was at, what, 34. So not much I can do with the dollar yen. Um, but hopefully this Aussie dollar can continue to come up a bit, and um, and then um, it's just into that 5 minute 50 at the moment. Hopefully it's going to pretty much ignore that, and if we're lucky. And... Um, and I, th you know, I had that feeling that it's, it's just the long side is really where it wants to be, and this that was just a flush. It's a shame it had to do that flush today because obviously it was sitting and gearing up so nicely earlier on. So uh, I'm not going to get back up to 280 quid unless both of these markets can get a bit of a move on. But I'm suspecting that due to the bank holiday that the that yen's just not going to budge and it'll just stay in a range and probably end up stopping me out. So let's go and have a look at that yen because um, it's just. Look at that! <laughs> oh, good one. Um, so, uh, what I, what I might do actually is move my stop down to these highs. Um, I've got a feeling it could want to come up to those highs, breach them. It's one of those sort of days where it could want to come up to those highs, breach, and then roll over later. But it just feels like when, once you start getting into the afternoon, like we are, that um, you think, oh, I just want to manage manage this um, and try and manage any potential loss. So um, I may even move the stop just to these highs and say, look, you know, it's either got to go or it's not. And it's it's a bit tight, but um, just above break even. But um, just say, look, you know, it's not done anything yet. So well, well, it's had its chance, so to speak. So let's do that as well, actually. So let's move the stops. Um, the stops are at 45, so I'm moving to about 30. Five. So um, you can see my entries. So uh, 34 here. So we're moving down to 35. So I, we don't want it when it's taken all morning. We don't really want to give it all back. So um, that will still be a, a very slight loss there on that. Um, move this one as well. It'll probably come straight up for that now. Uh, there we go. So uh, and I think it is. So. Um, but at least I can't really lose too much on that now. It'll only be negligible. And it's the same on the Aussie dollar. Um, so um, it's a shame with that that dollar yen because I think that overall it probably will come down but it's just going to get too messy I want to get the video out to you um, and um, but we'll see well, you know um, I just I just think that it's just gone so messy that usually when they go into these sort of ranges they will they'll want to start taking because they take so long and stops start building up so there will be a lot of traders out there who will probably have stops above here so it'll want to 
the market will probably want to go up for those even if it ultimately wants to roll back over if it was this morning that would have been fine but the time's just passing by and um, I want to start managing risk on a Friday afternoon now so um, let's just uh, get that zoom right um, so that's that and let's go back to the Aussie because the Aussie at least is going up a bit so um, what was I looking for around about uh, 91.10 so if we can get a bit of a shift on up to there then I'll take half off so um, uh, which you know it's it means that you know if, if it does get up there then um, at least we're banking something for the day so and remember on this challenge account my, my daily target is only uh, about 200 pounds um, a daily target so although I'm playing around very small here um, I'm only um, that's, that's the target anyway so um, I don't have to smash the ball out of the park um, every time I'm, I'm doing these but obviously it's nice like this morning if I was up what three just under 300 and um, it'd be nice to to have had a four or five hundred uh, winner there today but um, um, it's not just not happened thus far so we'll see if we can get up to this um, uh, this congestion zone which is getting close towards um, and I will then take um, take half off there so um, I'll just get a, a an order ticket ready um, because I don't, what I don't want to do is to um, give it back again, so to speak. If, if if these markets just then fall asleep, if they get into this zone and then just sort of meander and don't do anything till Monday, then um, I'd rather just um, get something banked. Um, so we'll see how that happens. I'll press pause. Here we go. It's just coming into that 10 level. Just see, if, <laughs> see, I just pressed the play button again, bought my ticket up ready, and then it's. Um, it's almost like it knew. But anyway, it's just coming into that 10 level. It's just hitting 10 on the chart, so um, we'll um, take that half off. Um, so we just come into that congestion zone there, just in case it, it can't muster anything and it just comes into the congestion zone, rolls over. But I am still looking for, it's about 91.30 now um, overall. So on the second half of this position, um, I'm still going to be looking for um, 91.30. So I'll just put a limit order in for now. Um, that's that area is going to mo be moving around, but uh, 91.30 on the limit. Oh, I need to change the stop, so we move our stop up now to 91. It's going to move it up aggressively now. Um, uh, da -da -da -da, stop. Okay. And then the yen trade is still doing its thing as well, so um, we'll see what happens. So I've moved it up to 91, it's giving it a little bit of slack, um, but at the same time locking a, a tiny little bit of gain on the back end, so whatever happens. On that um, Aussie dollar, uh, bank something on it for the for the day, and and who knows what's going to happen yet with the yen, the yen trade, and obviously I mean you have to ignore the the swing trade because um, I mean yes it's a nice nice potential profit, but you're only as good as the the trade once it's been banked, and so and on any trade, and so much like we saw here this morning on the Aussie when it was up two hundred odd quid. Um, uh, 280 pounds um, only to then roll over so you're only as good as you are as the trade is once you're once it's um, once it's banked and that's the and, and it's the same thing which so I look at that that swing trade and although it's sitting up there it's um, it's it's meaningless until until um, I start banking that so I've got my targets on it and obviously and we'll see what happens um, and the Aussie yeah it's it's just a shame it had that flush today because it's coming up and um, we'll see if it's gonna finally get up to my targets so um, and but the sh only shame is I'm obviously in now smaller positions than I was earlier today but um, we were getting into the day and you don't want really want to give too much back on a on a Friday afternoon after a d pretty decent week so um, so that's why I'm having to take trade it a bit more cautiously now but we'll see what happens with this and the yen and I'll come back to this so this Aussie dollar is coming um, obviously for me now, it's finally, so it's having a good run, so um, uh, we're doing alright on that. And even the yen's come down a little bit, so I've moved my stop to break even on the dollar yen. Um, let's have a look at the dollar yen here. I've actually put a limit order in down at 20, I think it is. Um, if it comes down to 20, uh, 102, oh, 102.22, I'll need to change that down to these lows. And it's the, uh, no, 20 is the hourly 50, so um, about 20, just below there. So I'll be looking to take something off. So this is where we are currently on these positions now. So we're back up to being up 200 quid for the day on the accounts. So that's good um, on the day trades, if you can all the swing. Um, but, um, which is better so far, but it's not over yet. And so we'll, it's looking more encouraging at this stage. So we'll see how it's going to go. So I'll press pause for now.
So, so what I've done here on the Aussie, I've moved my stop up to uh, what's it at? Uh, moved it up to 91.11. So up here, um, just aggressively trailing it up now. It had a nice spurt up there to 25. Got closer to my um, close to my level, but it was only at 30. Um, but I'm I'm just trying to um, manage this out now. And it's the same with the um, the dollar yen. Uh, the dollar yen's uh, like we said um, been coming down, and um, but then it's just sort of playing around it's just hit this 500 on the five minute chart so I've moved my stop down to 32 102 32 so whatever happens um, I'm in a slight gain on that one as well but we'll see it's just a messy messy chart and that could come all the way back up very easily and then go up higher uh, with that one so it wasn't enough to um, really uh, warrant um, doing too much with it um, I could bail and come out now um, and come out here take 42 quid and um, and then whatever on the um, on on that, but uh, the whole point of trading is trying to um, hold on to your trades um, for when they do run, and sometimes they don't, and it's just a sale of e. But when they do run, then that's when you get the big winners. I mean, I could have I could have bailed on this swing trade ages ago, uh, you know, uh, when I was up a thousand pounds, for example. Um, and maybe in hindsight, maybe we'll see next week or two if it comes over and rolls over and stops me out, then maybe that would have been the right thing to do. But sometimes if you've got analysis you have to run with your analysis to your target levels that you're looking for and um, uh, because they will pay out if you have that patience not every time but um, but they overall you'll make more money that way right I'll press pause for now right I'm trying to get this trade all these trades all done what I'm actually going to do I think here is um, just take something off of the sorry on the yen uh, I've moved my stop right up to the low of this point here on the Aussie I'm really trying to just get this video update done for you now um, so I'm just managing that stop up and I'm gonna take one of these units off of the yen um, it's come down but it's coming back up and I'm gonna take one off because purely because it's just you look at it it's just a messy sideways mess and I think it could just want to come back up into that range so I've taken one off the stops at break even it's tiny stuff but I might as well take it like I've just done the stops at what 102.32 on the remainder if it comes back up fine um, and then we've got this Aussie which um, hopefully is going to um, stop me out shortly and then I can get this video out to you but you've seen a couple of trades going on here today and so a bit of trade management and it's all around the momentum as always and, um, and how I read that momentum so um, uh, but you know it's a couple of trades there sometimes a bit unfortunate on the Aussie um, that, that 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 first move if it had done it all here um, then that would have been it and would have been and if it had come up to 30 at that point uh, was it 40 I was looking at that point then it would have been um, game job done um, so um, but unfortunately um, we we're having to wait around so I'll press pause again this should be the final pause right okay so we got stopped out on the rest of that uh, Aussie dollar and the trading stop on the yen has been triggered um, uh, not euro yen dollar yen um, has been triggered as well as it's come back up hit that 32 zone it's just choppy 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 so I think I did the right thing in really being aggressive on that so overall for the day nothing major 124 plus the yen 121 so it's at 145 for the day so it's practically three quarters of the daily target yes it was much nicer this morning but you have to try and run your trades and see how they're going to go so um, not a bad day bit of effort on a holiday but um, we got there in the end right I shall leave you with that and uh, hopefully we um, we get some uh, better trades next Friday